So, State of Unreal currently running. Unreal Fest Orlando sparks ideas of countless developers and shows us a lot of new stuff that's coming to Unreal Engine. It's time to revisit, revisit Unreal Engine 5.6 and check if the AR core stuff is already working again. And I can tell you so much, it's working again. So let's jump in. Let's have a look at our project. By the way, this project is built the exact same way as it was built before, like the video on my channel. It's linked down below in the description box, but with a few minor changes. For instance, having dropped the OpenGL support and using Vulkan completely. So let's go through it. You can just set up the project as in the other video. I'll just highlight some things here, for instance, going down here to Android and checking the versions. The versions are working. The install was pretty easy. It was just installing and in the options section, choosing the Android stuff. And when dealing with Android, now you have to go down here and select Vulkan in the supported graphics pipeline. I can't seem to find it directly. Let's go here, Vulkan. There it is. Support for Vulkan is checked. And the support for OpenGL is unchecked. You can see it here. From the plugin side, it's just the AR Core plugin, as we know it from before, or if you're building for iPhone, the AR Kit. And everything is basically the same. I'm opening the level proof blueprint. Open level blueprint, and you can see here set tracking origin for local flow, start the AR session with our AR session config. And the same is again event tick, get all tracked images, the AR tracked images, go through all the images selected draw a red outline you can use the target Im the detected image for something else or get the local to world trends from here and get the reference for a track parent and set it here to set the actor of the track parent which has a child actor which is the cube which will be placed on top of our marker and this is just 0.125 moved up for the ar session config it's generally the same as before. Um, use image tracking, generate an AR candidate image. I'll show that in a second. And for the AR candidate image, the hero marker image is used. So for everyone who's wondering now, how can I create this? You go here, right click. I am not sure how to pronounce this. Miscellaneous, miscellaneous, however, and go to data asset. Make sure to choose the data asset with the pie chart and make also sure to have imported AR core plugin and restart your editor. After choosing that, you can first of all create your AR session config and your AR candidate image object here. And for the image itself, just do right click import to current folder, select your marker image and make sure that the user interface to the RGBA is selected under compression settings and there, that there is some transparent border around the image. Zoom in a little bit, because otherwise, when this is not transparent or the white part here is not transparent, this will throw an error when deploying the application to your smartphone. And when this is done, you can go to your AR candidate image, select your hero mark, so select your marker image here. Um, do the settings, I'll just give it a name, landscape and so on. Go to your AR session can config, select the AR candidate image here. I have one simultaneous two images tracked. All the other settings are the default settings. I did not change anything here and it's now working with Vulkan. So if I go here to platforms, select my smartphone and deploy it, already deployed it. Let's have a look and you see my smartphone image here. I started the app, there is the video stream, there is the cube like falling apart. And if I now bring up the marker and move my smartphone a little bit around, you can see that there is a small cube down here. And 
the image marker is tracked. You see the red outline here. No, you don't see because I haven't enabled in the video stream yet. Okay, now you see it. There is a small cube over here and the red outline is here and the marker is tracked. So when I'm moving my image, the cube moves with it. So that's it. Unreal Engine 5.6, everything works again, just to show you my install. Here is my install. Here are the options, core components of the component engine source and the target platform for Android. Make sure to select iOS when building for iPhone. And Unreal Engine 5.6.0 finally gives us the opportunity to build for AR core again. Nice. That's it for now. Make sure to subscribe, like, and drop a comment down there. And also make sure to become a member of the YouTube channel or support me on Patreon or buy me a coffee on Kofi if you don't want some kind of monthly commitment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.